TPMS, not to be confused with your TPS reports. Did you see the memo about this? Hey, how's it going? So the plan today is to install this tire pressure monitoring system on the Royal Enfield, on the Mr. Clean here. So in the box here, uh, we do have the two tire pressure monitoring caps and the cap does unscrew, pull the tab out for the battery. So we've got the two caps, little key ring, these little tools for tightening down the lock nuts, which these are the little lock nuts here that go underneath the pressure sensor cap. And then they do give you some extra valves, which I won't be needing. But first, they do give you this QR code for downloading the instructions. Start with that. Okay, so you just download, install the app like you would any other app, give all the permissions that it requires, and they do ask for a lot. And then once you're in there, uh, set the profiles. And so I have my profile here. Uh, you can choose your pressure unit. Uh, I'm gonna do PSI, temperature, I'm doing Fahrenheit. Uh, alarm tone, this is for your tire pressure alerts. So you can set alerts if your tire pressure gets too high or too low. Um, space, so like Star Trek there. Uh, we'll just stick with the uh, submarine emergency. And then they have all other settings that you can set down here. Uh, but first, what I do need to do is add my motorcycle, add a profile. So we start there, you choose your vehicle, choose a motorbike, next profile name. I'll call this Mr. Clean. Uh, looks like you can take a picture. Oh sure, I'll take a picture of my motorcycle. Load and load and load. And then next, pressure settings. So it looks like this is where you can set your pressure alerts. This bike for front tire is 32. Rear tire on this bike, 39. And then hit next and you can put in your make, model, and year. So I'll put in 2022. All right, so then if you click, then we can start the installation of the sensor. So screw sensor on the rear tire position, touch set your mobile, Press proceed. Okay, so first thing is I'm gonna put on the lock nut, screw that down, and then screw on the sensor. Let's click proceed. And it's saying you put the phone next to the sensor and it's scanning for sensor. Okay, so it's showing, it's actually showing a reading of 37.9 PSI for the rear tire. Now it's saying to do the front one. Okay, let's put the lock nut on. I'm not actually tightening the lock nuts yet because I just wanna get everything installed just in case I do have to put air in the tires, which is already looking like I do have to put about a pound of pressure in the rear tire. So we got this front one screwed on. Again, proceed. And there it goes, 30.7. So it's just a little bit under pressure. It should be 32, so it's a little less than a pound and a half of off. Now I'm gonna take these off to put air in the tires, so I'm just curious to see what happens if we unscrew one of the sensors and see if we get an alert. There we go. So it told me that my tire pressure is low. Okay, so I have both sensors off the tires, so I'm getting alerts for both tires. Uh, right now, I am gonna put air in the tire. I'm gonna fill this one up to 32. Okay, so if I screw the tire pressure sensor back on, it gets updated, boop, saying 31.8. So it's pretty close to what the inflator was saying. So that's pretty cool. So it's pretty neat. It's giving you your tire pressure, uh, tire temperature. Let's see if we long press on this, we can update that photo. Take a picture. So we can also take a picture. Let me see if I can do this without killing myself. Get an overshot view. This is probably not a good idea. Like that. Okay. 
Let's see about that. Ooh, ooh. Rotation, loop it over. Nice. And there we go. Have my bike on there. Now I'm just interested to take it for a ride and just see how much tire pressure changes, temperature changes as you ride and how high it gets and where's a good spot to just set alerts. All right, it's a nice and toasty warm day out. It's I think like 105. Yes, and it's October. <laughs> it's crazy. Let's see what kind of readings we're getting on these tires. If it shows like temperature, shows the tire pressure going up. So right now it is 103 degrees out, but I've only been out on the bike for maybe five minutes. So that is kind of something kind of neat about this is you can just, not sure why you would really need to, but if you want to while you're riding, you can have your phone app open. be getting live tire pressure sensor readings, tire temperature readings. Oh yeah, the tire temperature's gone up. So now we're showing 107, 109 degrees Fahrenheit. So those are some good features. And what I do really like about it is that it gives you alerts even when the motorcycle's off, even when you're not riding. So that way, you know, a lot of, uh, tire pressure sensors you need to start driving the vehicle get the vehicle moving and then it will give you a reading which that's kind of pointless if you're you know you don't have a reading and it's not until you're a couple miles away from your house that you get the alert so this is nice so that way you always have the alert before you even get on the bike you can check your tire pressure without actually having to hook it up to any kind of tire pressure gauge, anything like that. So, pretty, pretty cool.